Morning folks, no real idea of what I'm going to do, but I'm going to do something. Uh, this is 90 pound rough paper. There's a bit of a, a wet over it. I want to do a sky similar to the one I did yesterday. Uh, Right, I'll, I'll give it a, a nice wet now. Let's uh, soak in a bit. The paper will expand. But what I want to do is to capture these uh, autumn grey skies. I'm talking about the UK here. Now the board is quite shallow, so it's about 15 degrees, probably less than that. So a bit of, bit of raw sienna. Not a lot, and a touch of Payne's grey. Just mix up a, a, enough on this on the palette. So I've used just a bit of raw sienna and a bit of Payne's grey. But I'm looking out the sky today. It's a it's a bit wet, but on, on the horizon we've got quite a bit of light just put a little bit of that in there so let's have a bit of bit of yellow a bit of cad yellow a bit of sienna uh, i'm looking out of my windows looking low down so let's just let's get that in there perhaps a touch of red just to warm it up a little bit now we've got the, I'm just going to reclip it, we've got the clouds going over, very thin clouds, you've got clouds at the, behind the clouds, they're the light ones, the sun's behind them. So just, uh, see how that goes, okay, so we've got the light, that's going to dry much lighter. So let's get a bit of deeper raw sienna and grey and I'm going down to the almost to nothing here. And some of these clouds will be will be darker underneath, so just warming the black the, the, the grey up a little bit. And I'm just going to risk a little bit of blue and hooker's green. I right, just dry my palette. Oops, oh god, picked up the red. So quiet, expletive under your breath. Well, I'll clean my palette again. I've just put out some light red and it's caught the tissue that I was cleaning my palette with. Um, right, let's uh, go back. Bit, 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 of, bit of blue, not a lot. And I've got a little bit of A little bit of um, hooker's green in there. Just a little bit of uh, blue on that, underneath that horizon, or above the horizon, shall I say? And I've got a wretched little. Uh, Get off. Oh, I have to let that go. 
and then just I still got that bit of light. Okay, that's more or less. I think my grey is just a little bit grey, but that's going to dry quite light. So I'm going to I'm going to help it on. So mute your sound. The clouds are, at the moment, they are very, very soft, very soft and damp. So even at this angle, we've got the uh, the the rain sort of coming coming down. <coughs> it's just just how the, the paper how it goes with the paper at a certain angle. When I first used to used to when I first started learning about watercolour. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Uh, 50 or 60 years ago, 60? No, 50 years ago. 50, let's say 50. And I've got some ultra on my clean jeans now. Oh dear, what a start to the day. Well, I'll have to get that off. Because I'm going to go up to Lidl later on and buy some, some of their lovely salami. Very cheap up there. Very good. My grandson loves it. Right. Okay, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do on here, but it's going to have trees in it and maybe a bit of water. So I'm going to use, I'm going to use, uh, I haven't used this brush, this uh, Japanese or Chinese brush for, for a while. So I'm going to put in some, some distance, some cool distance. Uh, let's, uh, Sweet of my teeth. Just looking at that, I'm wondering where, where to go on it. Not only that, but I'm uh, listening to my radio. And I'll turn it off. I'm not a lover of James O'Brien, I'm afraid. So I'll turn it off. Alright, that's okay. You can't change, I can't change the station in this little Nokia, Nokia phone very quickly, so I'll scrap it. And I've got blue everywhere. Right, okay, back to the job in hand. So let's... Uh, uh, up to the brow of the hill. Lovely little brush there. Eh? I can use it for a while. Catching those high spots on the paper now. It's, it's cold and grey, but we can paint light, can't we? We can create our own weather in our minds and on our paper. Okay. Uh -huh. I can see a snow picture coming on here. Still down there. I 
Okay, that's quite pleasant. Okay, that's a good bit of sienna, bit of grey. I think we can uh, over elaborate these sort of snowy pictures. Yeah, that's a little bit of more blue as we go into that. Make these a bit, this one a bit bigger. Easily done. a bit of Payne's, a uh, bit of ultramarine with a bit of burnt, burnt sienna. And we'll have that pathway disappearing into the background here. Okay. Okay, so when, when that dries, I want to put a clump of trees here, so a bit of burnt sienna. What I'm going to do is, to, I've got a bit of black, I forgot I had it, I found it, I was just taking a, having a little stop take, paint's great, um, with colours, I need to apply, apply some paint later on, so there we are, lamp black. So I'll, I'll put a tiny bit of that out, I won't put too much out just in case I don't, don't get on with it. They've got a great exponent of black. Bernstein in particular, was Roland Hilda, my all-time favourite painter. I learned more from him until Ron Ranson came along, of course, with The Hake, which I love. Now, look, apart from the sky, I've used, I've used this, this old battered Japanese brush. It looks Japanese. Yeah, definitely Japanese. Not that I can read Japanese on the on the pen, but, but maybe you can. Oops. Uh, gone. Ah. Right. A uh, bit of that black and a bit of that sienna. Uh, I'm going to just put it. Put a put that bush, bush in there. Now, yeah. I wonder if we can get a green with the yellow. Yeah. Okay, a bit of the black and a bit of the sienna. That's a oh, that makes a change from the old Payne's Grey, doesn't it? I'm using warm colours here. Ah, you would go straight into that black. Didn't mean that. Alright, black. And 
Mm. You know, it might be better with the with the the lemon yellow, which I haven't used for quite a while. It's probably from getting everything. Okay, probably I've done this, but hey. Right, I want a bit, a bit of warming in here, some of this. This paper's hanging on to its warmth. Oh, the warmth is wet. But go to the edge of your paper because if there's a margin at the edge, it will look as if you've tried to fit it in to the space available. So take your scenes off slightly off the paper. Put a bit of detail in. in this. A couple of figures. Just exploiting that dry brush. I don't know what I'm doing here, but but I'm enjoying myself. No, let's. Uh... Don't you put all your fence posts in? Right, a bit more tea. I think we'll have a look at that. Bags are nothing as if a person would say. I like that. Just waiting for that to dry off a bit before I put some calligraphy in. I might, I'll use the 
a uh, the dryer in a moment. Right. Okay, so I'll do use that now. like that that bit there so let's put a bit of a bit of green over that in the snow, there's some shadow. <coughs> uh, that's actually a black and blue shadow. Not too heavy. Bit of bit of cloud reflection coming into the light there. Oh, shadow under there. Okay, dry that off. I put a couple of figures in. Finish my tea. Headphones. So, well, I've, over, I've overdone the black there because I, I lifted up too much from my, my blob there onto here. But anyway, I've got quite a lot of black, um, but that's got a little bit heavy, but I might put a bit of gouache in it. But but I don't think that, I don't think I will. But you, this brush, it gives a nice, a nice, uh, nice point. It's going to go in with a blue blacky colour on the top here, just to show more blue. Got the figures. Could try and do the figures with this. I'd probably a little bit of bit of burnt umber. Oh, it's got quite quite a point on it. That's uh, a 
And a bit of, bit of light red. Soldering home. <coughs> okay. Uh, might even put a bird in. Might be pushing my luck with this brush. Okay, I'll let that go. I quite like that. Uh, oh yeah, what we've what we've got, we, it's. I think my clouds just a little too warm with that raw sienna but what we've got here we've got the light cloud behind that's not blue sky obviously it's not blue sky but it's the cloud against which this nearer cloud is is uh, superimposed and a lighter horizon not as light as I probably would have hoped and a bit of blue across here which has virtually gone to nothing uh, so remember remember watercolour dries a lot lighter than you you plan for now. This is right. If I'm far away, now I've got to put a mountain around it. Uh, no, I can't, I can't do that. The camera. I'm just, uh, uh, nah, not going to work. But if I do that, we're going to sort of a. I'll just come down a little bit. So that's a bit, that will give you an idea of uh, trying to go, uh, uh, what would I say, um, less is more. I've been overcomplicating lately, so I'm going to use a bit of gouache, so a little bit of white on me. Look, I've just added the tube. And let's just. Cheating here a bit because I just went a bit too heavy with that. Anyway, I've not used black for for years in watercolour. Uh, so make a, find a little bit more of this. Okay, that'll do. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching, folks. Lids on. I can't, I can't upload this to YouTube. <coughs> Thanks for watching. Bye for now.